guys today we're making uh, mashed potatoes uh, I have russet potatoes on hand uh, preferably would like to use yellow golden potatoes but uh, just use whatever you have on hand uh, so I'm using four uh, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, peel them I already washed them so let's get started all right, I got the uh, potatoes all nice and peeled. We're gonna cut them next, but I also wanna go over the uh, ingredients that you'll need for this recipe, which is salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, almond milk, which is a cup, and I have a quarter of butter. So go ahead and peel the, uh, cut the potatoes next, but you wanna cut them all even, so they'll cook even, and be all, and they'll be done at the same time. All right, I got all my I got all my potatoes cut up and uh, nice nicely even as as close as possible. The next thing you want to do is add it to your pot. All right, I got my potatoes added to the pot and I'm going to start boiling them uh, for about 20 25 minutes or so until you are able to poke a fork all the way through. All right, while the potatoes are boiling, I'm going to work on uh, the milk and the butter. I'm, going to, I'm just gonna warm it up so it'll be ready for when the potatoes are finished. All right, my potatoes are finished. I just got through draining them. You can tell they're finished because the fork goes all the way through them. All right, the next step is to get your, your potato ricer. If you don't have a potato ricer, you can just mash your potatoes. Um, so, all right, this is a, a potato ricer. So I'm going to stuff some of the potatoes in here and put them in here. Right, so I'm going to get some of the potatoes and I'm going to put them in my rice. You can get this at, uh, I got mine off of Amazon. It's uh, It works better than... Um, a, a potato a masher a potato masher you're more likely to have lumps in your potatoes unless you like lumps that's fine but this is to help with that all right so i'm gonna just go ahead and continue to load up the rest of the uh, potatoes until I'm all finished. Alright, this is what the potatoes look like now after you run them through the potato ricer. And the next thing you want to do is go ahead and add your milk and butter mixture. Alright, so you're going to add you some onion powder and garlic powder. Season to taste. And then you want to mix it all up well. Okay, guys, here's the finished product of the mashed potatoes. All right, guys, I'm going to taste test the mashed potatoes. So let's pray first. Dear God, thank you for this food. Uh, I ask you to watch over all my YouTube subscribers and people who are viewing my page, I ask you let peace be upon them. Amen. All right, here we go. These are good. Soon you put it in your mouth, they just melt. And I believe it's because of the potato ricer, because it just helps mash the potatoes down 
real smooth. It just it goes down real smooth. It's good. I encourage anyone who's thinking about trying this recipe to go ahead and do it. Uh, I said again, you can get the potato ricer on Amazon, and um, if you don't have one, you can use a a, a potato masher, the old-fashioned way. But it's a big difference if you would to, if you use a potato ricer instead. And um, remember to always be cool, no matter the circumstances. Comment down below one thing you're grateful for, and uh, have a great day.